Welcome to Isabel Wren's Tutorials for Make Benefit Glorious Cam Models and Other Human Peoples. To see me in a live cam show for more tutorials or to make the sexy times, go to my website, wrensamerica.com. And now, let's learn about our new bestest buddy, the liquify tool. Filter, liquify. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Tea. Now, tight ass latex is not my buddy. Especially when I have a sunburn, as I did in this shoot. Anyway, this is not about me, this is about the photo. Now my favorite um, liquify is the forward warp tool. You can also do the same thing with uh, the pugger tool, I believe, but I'm pretty much obsessed with the forward warp. You can also push things out and make them bigger with the blow tool. Maybe, uh, we'll see that in a second. So you want the forward warp tool to have the curve here about as big as the thing that you want to suck in. Move it. You can go either on the outside or just on the inside. In this case, I'm going to go just on the inside. And I'll tell you why in just a second. So I'm holding the mouse down and pulling in. And you see it warped my stomach in, but it also warped the line of my ab in, so we're going to push that back out. That is a dead freaking giveaway. Very nice. Good quick and dirty job. Pull that in there. Still a little obvious because the white line has disappeared under my tum. But we can fix that using the patch tool later. <laughs> so let's see why we didn't go on the outside there. Because there is a straight line of wood right next to it. And as we saw with my ab there, the straight line warps. So you see here, that line of the wood is warping outward too. You can fix this a couple of ways. The most desirable, of course, is to just push it back into place or not make it happen at all. Or you can duplicate the layer, which we have already done, and patch in from another layer. Just copy and paste another piece of wood with a straight line. I would advise you copy and paste the same piece of wood so that the shadows and light aren't off. So to make it easier on yourself and not have to patch things back in, sometimes you won't be able to go the direction you want, as in this one would be over. So you have to get kind of creative with it. Put it in a little and up a little and oh, there we go, that's a little pinched there. I pinched that piece of wood and I just made it worse by pulling it out. <laughs> Makes it worse sometimes, doesn't it? But here you go generally looks a little better now that the latex isn't squeezing the absolute dog do out of me. And let's see this fun guy here, the bloat tool. So, yes, I am going to make myself have giant tits. This is not going to work but so well because there's a big line across and you can see it moving the line. So you'd need to make sure you applied even pressure on both sides of the line of the outfit. And you want to make sure to go all around the object that you're trying to make bigger so that, oops, pinch the star a little much there so that it's not big only on one side. 
that would just look silly, and as I said before, be a dead giveaway. And then Jing crashes on me. <laughs> um, but you hit OK, and now you are fabulously thin with fabulously large tits. Let's go see what that looks like before, and also before I corrected for white balance. After! Before! After! Yay! 